All right, what's up, guys? Robbie here. Um, this will probably be my last review. I'm running kind of low on the funds to keep on buying carbon fiber shafts, but uh, um, this will be my last review. Uh, I got some really cool stuff. I've had a lot of experience with a lot of different carbon fiber shafts in the last few months. Uh, my Peach Hour Rogue just showed up in the mail here about, oh, I don't know, a week ago. And I've been playing with it ever since. Uh, so far, I'm really liking it. I'm going to show you some differences. Um, I've got the uh, Q-Tech Synergy here on an SVBQ laid out. I've got the BQ Prime M 12.5 on my gym vest butt it's laid out here i got the mez ignite it's a 12.2 millimeter shaft and it's on a mez butt and then i have the peach shower so here let me show you guys what we got going on here so like i said here's the q-tech really like the shaft on this q i'm not a really big fan of the butt i don't like the way it feels in my hand um, the linen's really slippery, nice and solid, but I don't like the ring work. And there's just something about the Q that I don't like. Um, the BQ is probably, this one right here, is probably, I don't know, third favorite out of these four. Um, I normally play with the Q-Tech on this butt. And I really like that combination. Now the Prime seems to have a little bit more joint weight in it. And uh, forward weights the Q a little bit. And I kind of like that. But I think the playability of the Q-Tech is just a little bit better. They both feel about the same when they hit. It's just the balance changes amongst the two of them. Um, here is the Mez right here. Um, it's a Mez Ignite. A wavy pin i i've tried playing with this i've given it an honest honest attempt um for some reason i don't play well with it i like the way it feels when i hit the ball i just don't play well with it i don't know why um everybody's different though it's like ford chevy or dodge it's what you like and what you do well with now here's the big one This is my custom peach hour. <clears throat> and it complements this black rogue very well. Um, now, like the Q-Tech and the Ignite, the rogue has a white ferrule. Um, now, when it comes to materials made, making this Q, I'm not really sure what kind of f carbon fiber they use, but you can see the grain or the uh, fibers in this, kind of similar to the BQ. It looks like it's the exact same blanks that BQ uses. See, you can see in the, this is the Q-Tech. You can see that it's very smooth. There's no grain really. Same with the Ignite. This is the uh, Prime, and this is the Peach Hour. So that's one thing that's different. Now, this uh, Peach Hour in your hand feels just like the Prime. Um, same texture, same like slipperiness. The Ignite is very slippery, and so is the Q-Tech. Um, now, as for playability, uh, I really, really like the Peach Hour because it's quiet. It does not have a ping sound. Um, the Ignite has some sort of a ping to it, kind of like the uh, Revo does. Um, the Prime's very quiet and the Q-Tech's very quiet, but the Rogue is the quietest of them all. Here, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So. Let's just kind of tap a ball with the Ignite. You can kind of hear how it sounds hollow. Now let me show you what it sounds like with the Rogue.
very solid, very quiet. There is literally no sound when it hits a ball. Um, I did hit with a go shaft and the go shaft really reminds me in the way the rogue hits. So if you have a go or if you've played with a go, it's kind of, kind of comparable to the peach hour. Now, when it comes to talking about deflection, that's something I don't think any human has any reason or has any has any valuable input on because I think the human mind is biased. I think the human body is biased as into what you like and and what you want to hear and what you want to see. So I think it really would take a machine that's not biased to put each of these shafts in and check the uh, check the uh, deflection that way. Um, personally, I think the the Rogue has the least amount of deflection. Um, the Ignite, I think, has more. It's either more or less. I miss. I just miss balls when I'm using left or right spin. And then the BQ and the Q Tech play like identical to each other. The only difference is the balance point in the Q when it's on there. Um, yeah, I mean, I would love to hit with like a Muchi. I know Lucasi's coming out with some. Uh, I think McDermott's supposed to be coming out with a um, carbon fiber shaft, even jump cues or break cues. Um, I'm just tired of spending the money. So, I mean, if you guys want to see an honest review on one or hear about it, uh, just maybe get them guys to send me something. I mean, that would be cool too. Uh, I'm not making any money off these videos. I'm just an Iowa boy that just made it into the intermediate division. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on there. Um, both those are Robbie M32. Uh, I'll post those in the description. Uh, anyways, the Mez is for sale. The QTech is for sale. Um, the BQ Prime is for sale. Those are just my extras. I have two of everything. So hit me up. Thanks, guys.